lah. So one, find the area of quadrilateral with the following vertices given. So here we have four vertices, right? A, B, C, D. So that means you have you, when you find the area, you need to have A, B, C, D, and then the last one should be the first one where you start. So A, B, C, D. This one should be A again. So here one seven here. So half. So I start with one seven negative five six negative two negative four two negative three and then you come back to one seven the first one, which is equal to half. So up to down you have to multiply. So one times six you get six. Five times negative five times negative four you get ah uh, twenty right positive twenty because negative and negative. So this one plus up to down you plus negative two times negative three you get six. So plus six two times seven you get fourteen, fourteen, and down to up you have two minus. So negative seven times negative five you get negative thirty five right. So minus negative thirty five. Six times negative two you get minus negative twelve. Negative four times negative two is negative eight. So minus negative eight. So negative three times one you get negative three. So minus negative. Three. So here we get half. So six plus twenty plus six plus fourteen. Negative negative become positive. Negative negative become positive. Negative negative become positive. Negative negative become positive. So here we get hundred four. So basically, this one modulus hundred four is hundred four. So hundred four divided by two, you get fifty two unit square. So B half we have two nine negative six four negative one negative three eight one and the last one after the four point you have to need you need to have two nine the first one. So you have to check when you have quadrilateral you have four point plus one which is one two three four five. Okay, so this one half. So up to down you multiply and add two times four you get eight. Negative six times negative three you get eighteen. So plus eighteen. Negative one times one you get negative one. So plus negative one. Eight times nine you get seventy two. So plus seventy two. So down to up you are going to minus. So nine times negative six you get negative fifty four, right? So minus negative fifty four. Four times negative one is negative four, so minus negative four. Negative three times eight, you get negative twenty-four minus negative twenty-four, and one times two, we get two, right? So minus two, which is equal to half. So eight plus eighteen, positive negative negative one, plus seventy-two negative negative become positive negative negative become positive negative negative become positive and negative. Minus two, so here is equal to half. This one is one seven seven, which is equal to half one seven seven. So one seven seven divided by two, we get eighty eight point five unit square, or eighty eight one over two unit square, because like zero point five is equal to one over two. So this one. So C half zero two negative six negative two negative three negative five. Negative one, negative three, and then we come back to zero, two. So half. So zero times negative two is zero. Negative five, negative six times negative five is positive thirty. So plus negative three times negative three is nine. So plus nine. Negative one times two, you get negative two. So plus negative two, right? So down to up is minus. So two times negative six is negative twelve. So minus negative. Twelve negative two times negative six, you get six, so minus six. Negative five times negative one, you get five, right? So minus five, and then negative three times zero is zero, so minus zero. Or you don't even have to right? So here we get half. So this one is thirty plus nine, positive negative minus two, negative negative positive twelve. This one is minus six minus five. So here we get. Thirty-eight, which is equal to half, 
38, 38 divided by 2 is 90, 19 units square. So D half 3, 4, negative 2, 0, 2, negative 4, 5, 1 and then come back to 3, 4. So here we get half. So 3 times 0 is 3, negative 2 times negative 4, you get 8, right? Positive 8. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2, 5 times 4 is 20. So then down to up, you have to minus. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, so minus negative 8. 0 times 2 is 0, so basically minus 0, or don't even have to write. Negative 4 times 5, you get negative 20, so minus negative 20. And 1 times 3, you get 3, so minus 3. This one is 8 plus 2 plus 20. Negative, negative become positive. Negative, negative become positive minus 3. So here we get this one 30, 38, 58. 58 minus 3, we get 55. So we get 55. So half time 55, we get 27.5 units square. Or you can also write as 27, 1 over 2 units square.